And now to a promise of action and change following a year long Denver 7 investigation into the murder of a 10 year old boy. Last September in Lone Tree, Ty Tessero's father killed him and then took his own life. That unthinkable murder happened just hours after dad learned he was going to lose custody. Denver 7 investigator Jennifer Kowaleski did a series of reports exposing how the system failed to protect Ty. And tonight she explains how his death could change laws in Colorado. Okay, dance. His name is Ty. He's 10 years old. That's the Ty I know. You are my sunshine, my and in this video, there's music playing. Make me happy when skies because it's part of the video they showed at his funeral. And he was always smiling. And that's the tie I like everybody to remember. Every Nothing will ever bring Ty back. But his mom, Jing Tessarero, is fighting for change in a system that better protects children like him. If our um, court system wants to make a difference in our children's life. They need to start doing something now. And that difference could finally come at the state capitol. I acknowledge that the system needs to transform. He's the director of Douglas County's Department of Human Services, the agency who oversaw Ty's case. We really looked to see how can we do better. What challenges did you face with Ty's case? Well, there were multiple s systems involved. Those systems included the civil and criminal courts, where dad was previously charged with domestic violence. Then there was the Department of Human Services role and a lack of communication between them all. I think focusing a definition or policy changes would result in better coordination between the systems. Dan McKelkey is helping push a bill that could forever change Colorado's domestic violence laws. It would define domestic violence in the state children's code to capture the emotional and psychological impact this behavior can have on children. Only increase training, um, response, and really focus the plan on who is the aggressor or the perpetrator in, in a situation. The reason this matters in Ty's case is because despite so many agencies being involved, Ty's dad continued to have coercive power and control over Jing and Ty continuing to try to control the person that you have been abusing. Up until his final moments. I told you guys that he was going to kill Ty. Ty's murder by his own father exposed a systematic gap in how social workers understand and manage domestic violence abusers, especially when that violence doesn't come with bumps and bruises. This isn't just a Douglas County issue. Domestic violence is prevalent in everyone's community. What message do you hope that this sends to Ty's mom? That we're invested in change. The cost of doing nothing is another child's funeral. State Representative Jonathan Singer was a social worker before becoming a lawmaker. For him, Ty's death is personal. It is far overdue to give a name to domestic violence in our children's code. A proposed law change that now has the support of Colorado Counties Incorporated, or CCI, an organization that is well known at the Capitol. The group represents 61 out of the state's 64 counties. To have their backing means that this has got serious weight behind it, and it's something that will very likely pass. Action now possible more than a year since Ty's death. I like to hold on to the good memories. Following dozens of Denver 7 stories about a mother's fight for change. What your reporting has done more than anything else it has said that, that this issue of domestic violence cannot be stigmatized anymore. Because I think without that, we may not be here today. The children are caught in the middle and they're being abused. While Jing's still grieving and still clinging to those videos. Funny loves to follow the leader. Let's go. She's holding out hope for real change at the Capitol. I'm just hoping that people actually will be paying more attention this time. We're gonna fight for change. Colorado Counties Incorporated chose this bill out of more than 20 different issues. They will now work to find state lawmakers interested in sponsoring the bill. I'm Denver 7 investigator Jennifer Kowaleski.